Today we're live. You know, I just couldn't be bothered to do a video and edit and this, that, all the other. And I said, right, let's go live and see what happens. I've just moved house, moved town, in fact. And we're in a new house. It looks like a, like an explosion. But slowly, slowly, it's getting sorted. So, as people join, if anyone joins, uh, say hello in the chat so I know you're here. But I want to talk to you today about the one percent the one percent alex greetings the one percent what does that mean the average man's world gabrielle hello the average man's world has a beautiful thing that has happened since you remember that dvd the secret ina hello hello the Secret that came out. You remember that movie back in the late 90s, I believe? You know, in the late 90s, there was a whole spate of really amazing knowledge that suddenly got, got out, which had been there, but it got out. Ozzy, hello, hello. Yes, Alex remembers. There was The Power of Now was published in the late 90s, I believe 98, something like that. Law of Attraction, which was uh, The Secret. And then you had these three series of books called Conversations with God. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Neil Donald Walsh, very highly recommended. Go and read them, acquire them, keep them with you. They are there for repeated reading. And just like The Power of Now, they're like really workbooks. Very, very fascinating. And so you had this explosion of knowledge for the common man where people started realizing, oh, uh, I can shape my reality, I can, uh, the law of attraction, you know, the kind of thoughts I think, and then my reality will manifest, right? And it gave us all a big impetus to take charge of our thoughts and uh, gave us uh, a sense of potential about what we can do. And since then, we have all, we all, the law of attraction has become a byword, has become a thing, a term that everyone knows, and you have lots of channels, and even on YouTube, everywhere. Law of attraction coaches. Law of attraction coaches. And the main thing that all these guys, the law of attraction coaches will tell you, is that you can be you can do and you can have everything you want correct that's the that's the final bottom line message of all of them you can be do have whatever you want and you can you can be do have whatever you want because existence is in um, video game parlance it's called procedurally generated so it, reality is procedurally generated as awareness becomes aware of more things more things around it reality generates amir hi from iran very nice i grew up in iran in the shah's days in tehran for five years from the age of one till the age of five i was in tehran and then we left for India, once uh, Khomeini <laughs> led that uh, coup, I know that you know. So I, I know Tehran from my very young days. So you have life uh, coaches and law of attraction coaches telling us all you can be to have what you want. Six billion people. Well, I don't know how many billions there are on this earth now, right? Red brand, hello, hello. Most of them are not being, doing, and having what they want, even whilst the law of attraction is a common byword. Everyone knows it. In Japan, if you say in Japanese law of attraction, they'll recognize it. If you say in, uh, down in Australia, people will recognize it. Meaning it's, this term is now all over the world. The law of attraction. You can be, do, have whatever you want. The Toltec has a problem with that, and I'll tell you the problem with that. Now, within the law of attraction world, 
there are many disagreements you'll find the you know each one wants to market their book or product or course or whatever it is and so the way they hook you in is oh the law of attraction really isn't complete the way you know about it. i've got the secret ingredient that will <laughs> make you be do and have whatever you want so far in your life you haven't had success in the law of attraction uh, because of this little secret ingredient that only I know about that I'll tell you if you sign up to my $500 course <laughs> they'll do all that for you and people sign up and nothing happens right you have Abraham Hicks telling you you should be positive all the time and vibrational alignment and all that <laughs> Mohsin saying why did you start without me <laughs> You know, I just, I just was sitting here. I had a uh, session with my apprentice. I love that guy. He's so great. One of my apprentices. And then I said, you know what? Let's go live and uh, talk to, talk to the world. Talk to all you beautiful people. So here I am, unannounced, and I'm glad people have caught me. And there'll be others who will see it later. So the secret ingredient and you pay for those secret ingredients and you learn nothing and you still don't get to be, do and have what you want. In fact, I have an open challenge. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll PayPal you a hundred pounds, British pounds. I'll PayPal you. If you show me someone who is capable of being, doing and having whatever they want out of the billions on this earth, and I include Tony Robbins, freaking Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, whatever man, Tony Robbins, Law of Attraction gurus. They will claim you can be, do, and have what you want, but I guarantee you that that is not happening in their life. I guarantee you this. It's not happening in your life. It's not happening in their life. It's not happening in anyone's life. And in a moment, I'll tell you why. And it, you will say, yeah, that's true. That's exactly why. And I'm not going to tell you any secret, secret <laughs> ingredients either. It's just plain common sense. So let's be clear. You can be, do and have what you want and you're not getting that experience. Religion will tell you. Pray to God. Pray to Allah. Pray to the Lord. Pray, pray to Jesus. And you can have what you pray for. The Lord is always saying yes, the priest will tell you. The Lord is always saying yes. It's your problem that you're not able to be to have what you want. Same deal. Same deal. Power tripping and guilt tripping. Guilt tripping others for their money and power tripping on it. It's all nonsense. The Toltec comes along and says, but, but what, what the hell is wrong with the average man's world? Why are you guys wasting so much time on nonsense? Patrick saying, sending good vibes. I'll have to check this out after. Yeah, no problem. Because when you see energy as it flows in this universe, we start realizing one fact. Don Juan explained it to Castaneda really, really well. And this is very, um, very relevant to this topic. You know, we all have dreams and we should dream. Dreams are intimately connected with a path with heart in the Toltec system, no doubt about it. So don't be afraid to dream. But what the Toltec doesn't do is sacrifice pragmatic soberness. Toltec doesn't get drunk on whatever snake oil is sold to them in terms of itching, uh, scratching their dream, dream bone. <laughs> so, you know, I've done that. I've paid money to Law of Attraction many years ago before I started training. I was desperate to better myself and, you know, get become a better person. So I, I who was that guy? Joe Vitale? 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 Whatever. I didn't. I paid him, man, I went to debt on my credit card to pay that guy. Uh, he was running some freaking scam at that time, a scam artist, really. They really all are, and I'll, you'll know exactly why. I paid him, I believe it was $800. I went 
on debt on my credit card to pay this guy $800. I didn't even get him. I got one of his team to work with me and it was complete nonsense. I didn't get us, <laughs> I didn't change any, nothing changed. It was all just really nonsense. So you can't be to have what you want just because Joe Vitali or whatever his name is, says it. Or all the, these people, they're rich off of writing their books uh, and telling people about wealth and all that. They're rich because of that, not because they were wealthy and they wrote a book on wealth. They, they got rich on writing about wealth, which people bought their books on. Do you understand the difference? <laughs> so once you learn to see energy in the universe, you realize that there's the known, there's the unknown, and there's the unknowable. This is what is a fantastic explanation that Don Juan gave to Castaneda at one point. There's the known, the unknown, and the unknowable. The unknown is peculiar in the sense that it can become known as awareness grows. So the known and unknown are in the realm of your awareness. You start out with very little awareness, not noticing anything around you except your bills and you curse those bills or whatever is the problem that's in your realm of awareness. Then your awareness grows over time. You become spiritually evolved and your awareness grows and grows. And what you did not know, which was in the unknown for you, became known. And the unknown is a vast territory. But the Toltecs contend that there is also the unknowable. The unknowable. It's a monumental blow to the ego of white science, which is, which will not accept that anything is unknowable. What it will do is put words to the unknowable and pretend that it knows. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Flame, flame, fire, flame, a candle flame. Science, Western Roman science knows how a flame is created, but it doesn't really know what a flame is. It will not tell you what fire is, it'll give you a description of fire. You hear the difference? It'll describe fire to you and, uh, you know, feel very worthy of itself polish its shoes and feel very shiny because I've given you a description of fire. Fire is when oxygen, uh, this, that, and then the part particles and the molecules and the blah, blah, and the blah, blah. But you haven't told me what fire really is. You're just describing to me what it does and how it, it comes about. You're not telling me what it is. You know why? because it is in the realm of the unknowable. It's a subtle point. Now you could say, oh, uh, no, I'm your, your semantics. No, I'm not. You got to try and understand what I'm trying to point here. When you access inner silence, I'll do it right now. Let's verify this. Let's verify this right now. Everyone who's watching and everyone who will watch this video, I'd like you to just, just stay present. Why is your hair falling out? Don't tell me that, man. My hair isn't falling out. Maybe it's the lighting. I've already always had this. Anyway, let's, um, let's cl close your eyes for a second. And I'd like you to start gently getting a sense of the inside of your nose as you breathe in and out. Just feel your nostrils from the inside as you breathe in and out. Relax your face, your eyes.
And when you're ready, just open your eyes really slowly. And just look around where you are. Just look around where you are and tell me, do you really know anything if words are not attached to what you're seeing? Right? If words and descriptions were not attached to what you're seeing right now in your room, would you even know what it is? Or could it be that the inventory of words that you have been brainwashed with all your life is giving you the illusion, the illusion of safety, that you are in a familiar world? I can assure you that you live in a completely alien environment. And just because you see it every day and you attach words to it, you feel safe. So, the known, the unknown, and the unknowable. The Toltec sees the law of attraction and reality and agrees that yes, reality is malleable, moldable, because energy flows where attention goes and awareness grows. Right? Energy flows where attention goes and awareness grows. Absolutely correct. Toltec says, the warrior says, 99% of that claim is correct. You can grow awareness by putting energy and attention on whatever it is you want to be, do, have. And 99% of the time, it is likely, given enough time and personal power and intent, it is likely to happen for you. I make this happen to me literally all the time. No joke. My apprentices learn how to do this all the time. But the Toltec also recognizes one thing. Life reserves that 1% percent that is left all for itself. Life reserves that one percent for its own purposes. You don't get to control that one percent. You can have, you can be the power master of the universe, master of the universe and God and all that and control everything around you and inside you and be the best yoga master and whatever, ascended master. <laughs> and you get to control 99% of it all, but you will never be able to control that 1% that life reserves for itself. That 1%. John Lennon talked about that 1% without knowing it very, very well. He said, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. <laughs> life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous advice. Right? Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. He was tapping into that 1%. There are very few people, people on this earth who will live a life like John Lennon, who will see life in this world at that level. Right? And if that guy can not control his environment and have to say, hey man, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. He's tapping into something, you see. Life, re, re, that one percent, life will do its, do its job on you. Things will happen to you, you can affirm affirmations, you can do healings, you can do whatever the hell you want. That things will happen that lie in that one percent of the unknowable that you cannot explain and you just have to go, you know what? I cannot control everything. 
you will just have to throw your hands up and surrender. Life reserves that 1% for itself. Lorena, shut up, you talk too much. So, life reserves 1% for itself. You're walking down the road affirming, I am safe, I am safe, and bang, a cyclist hits you. <laughs> no reason. Right? No reason. Someone will mug you on the street. No reason. You're just walking along. Things will happen. I'm just giving silly examples. But you know, things happen. I'm the cyclist. <laughs> things happen to you. You try to control that relationship and really make it amazing, amazing, amazing. Right? Uh, Lorena, I'm going to have to, I'll ban you later after this call. You're out. You're gone. You're a waste of, you're a waste of everyone's energy and time. So do what you want right now, but later on, I'm going to kick you out. So, um, you, we all know life does things to us, man. And those things are beyond the law of attraction, beyond uh, anything, all the good thoughts and the spiritual thoughts and the prayers and the meditations and the giving to charity and being the good person. Life is beyond all of those things. It reserves that 1% to strike you when, you're, when you really need that self-importance worked on. <laughs> it is my personal opinion, born out of experience, that that 1% is the most beneficial. You know? <laughs> She's going, boo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> you see? The tall tech... When that 1% happens to the warrior, bows its head and says, you know, thank you. Thank you so that I don't get to control everything and create a nightmare out of my life. Thank you that I get to see my self-importance from events that are happening beyond my control. You see what I'm getting at? Every human being had that, has that experience of that 1% acting on them when they least expect it. Exactly, Sandeep's right. Sandeep's my mate from a very long time. He's a great guy. Very, very... Ah, I love Sandeep. So, think about that 1% and don't curse it. Don't try and control it. It's in the realm of the unknowable. Leave it in the realm of the unknowable and use it to your advantage. Say, you know what? You know what? Thank you. This teaches me surrender. This teaches me that I am not 100% in control and that I, there is that 1% of magic that is beyond the control of the machine mind. It is uncontrollable. And that gives me, uh, it relieves my incessant boredom. Imagine if you were always in control all the time, how quickly would you get bored of life? There would be nothing left for you to crash against and grow, right? Because you're always in control. And we all know people like that. And what happens? They get cancer in the end. They get all sorts of diseases in the end. They get mentally disturbed. They get problems as they get older, dementia, blah, because they spend all their life trying to control everything. The Toltec does the opposite. Take a deep breath and relax. It's that 1% is your friend. It's not your enemy. It's your friend, but you got to know how to relate to it. You got to relate to it with surrender, with humility, and most of all, with inner silence. Inner silence. Slow down your world. 
and that 1% will not threat, feel threatening to you. You will be able to see that life is kind and it is doing you a favor. With that, tell me in the comments, I'm gonna uh, go off uh, live the live now. Tell me in the comments what you think of this topic today. The 1% in the realm of the unknowable. And uh, yeah, walk in freedom. <laughs> These comments are hilarious. People start fighting with each other. <laughs> But yeah, you always get that one. You all, there's always one, man, there's always one. And on the internet, <laughs> you know, there you go. That's the power of, that's the, the indulging power of the internet to attracts EMIs. Most of you know what I mean when I say EMIs. <laughs> Lorena, after, you, after I ban you, I'll give you an impeccable gift before I go. Watch my video called What is an, e an EMI? That is my gift to you. All right, signing off. I'll see you guys next week. Lots of love to every single one of you. Do not take that 1% seriously. Learn to surrender to it, learn from it, and relate to it in the way that I showed you, advised you, recommended you, and you will gain energy rather than losing energy to it. And you won't feel like a victim. All right, take care. <laughs> She's just digging her own grave. What a self-important idiot. All right, take care, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now.